Hey guys, this is Ike with Ike's with Robot Reviews, bringing you another Crossfight Beat'em-On review. This time it is CB78 Gatling Death Shell. Take a look at the packaging. Very, very different. It's back to being a box instead of the nice plastic shell kind of packaging we had before that displays the Beat'em-On. It's still partially pre-assembled. Most of the main pieces are assembled in a separate bag in the box, but there are some sprues, and you do have to cut them out and assemble them. Sort of a step back from what we've had before in ES, uh, but I suppose it's fine. There is Gatling Death Shell there. It's part of sort of a new line, I guess. GS, which is Gimmick Specialty. Uh, he's got a pretty prevalent gimmick there in his core system. He is a special starter. CB78, Gatling Death Shell. He is rapid fire type, and there is his emblem there. His user down there, uh, I, I forgot his name, but I'm sure it's not too important. Shows him interacting with the dash stabilizer. All of the different parts, his core gimmick, rapid fire capabilities, all of his different parts, like I said, how to hold him, and his stats. He has three power, three control, and nine rapid fire. So, here is Gatling Death Shell, very purple, very translucent. He also does not have the eyes pre-applied like all the other ES beat him on, uh, because he's in a much different packaging, and he doesn't need to look pretty. So, you'll notice on the back, his main sort of gimmick here is, is this, this little, little rotatey bit. And it's got two little pegs here, and when you rotate it, it pushes the trigger, like that. So every rotation, it pushes the trigger twice. Now we'll get to this in a minute. Uh, this is kind of a, a tricky system to master. Uh, but once you get it, it works extremely well. He's supposed to be based off of a turtle. Um, I don't really see see any turtle in his his design here, other than maybe his emblem being a shell. He's only got one emblem. Uh, you can switch it between the two arms, but uh, I guess because you're supposed to uh, hold him with one hand, um, the emblem only there only needs to be one there however it's it's really hard to even activate the emblem uh, with one hand so they might as well have just given him two but and there you go he reminds me kind of very much like Smashra Gold not only the fact that he's entirely translucent but because he's got a thing on his trigger. However, with Smash Direct Gold, this sort of came off a lot. Um, it wasn't very solid. They hadn't really mastered it yet, but uh, by this point, this is, is dead solid. This is not coming off anytime soon. So, let's get into firing this guy. He is a uh, rapid fire type, so we're gonna need a magazine. He only comes with one Bidama. Uh, which is is really unfortunate because his gimmick really only works with at least two. Um, you can see that to fire it, you push that forward. That's one Bidama, but to even get a f full rotation, you at least need two. So he should have at least come with two. But uh, yeah, he only comes with one, just like all of the other starters. Uh, before we get into this, uh, he's, he's very back heavy. So I'm going to address this now. The Dash Stabilizer is just packaged as a normal tune-up gear. However, uh, it's really a version up part for this guy. On his sticker sheet, I'll bring that out now, he has six extra stickers, and that is for the little bits here, so that they match him. Uh, the dash stabilizer itself did not come with a sticker sheet of its own. I found that really interesting. Um, also, you don't even need to use the whole dash stabilizer to make it work. Uh, these bits here actually slide off, and he's got little little pegs on his feet that these slide into. And they just peg on like that. And there you have Dash, Gatling Death Seal. 
Very cool. Uh, the interesting part, I think, is that the the purple doesn't doesn't match. It's it's a very uh, slightly different purple. This is sort of more. Um, it's not really showing up on the camera, but it's sort of a lighter color, and and this purple on the stabilizer is is closer to the purple on Twin Drazeros. Um, and also this is a different purple as well. So you have like three different translucent purples going on here, uh, but but there you go. Uh, one disappointing thing is that you can't really put it into this position uh, with the, the grip here because it, it pushes the trigger a little far in. Um, the trigger is a little bit longer on Gatling Death Shell. So, so yeah, unfortunate. But there you go. So, let's get into his gimmick. Uh, without further ado, it's it's a really uh, big subject matter on this guy because it's very hard to master. Um, I've seen a lot of videos, well, at least one or two, um, of people over in Japan who have got this like the day it came out and they made a video for it and it made it appear to be very laggy, this gimmick. Um, it, it works extremely well um, in theory because, like, do this, you're getting a lot of shots here, and you can do this very fast. But you actually have to put a little more force into it because you're actually pushing something out of the core. Um, so, in practice, it can be a little tougher to do that. Um, and I've seen several videos of people sort of not getting the hang of it and being very laggy in shooting this. I played with this for several, several hours to sort of try and master the gimmick. It's, it's a very difficult one to get a hang of, but once you get a feel for the mechanism and you get a feel for the rhythm of how to shoot this guy, it can be an extremely effective rapid fire type. Now I'm going to try and get around this to sort of uh, demonstrate it, um, so bear with me for a second. But um, just load this guy up. Now the way to hold this guy, I find, is, is, is putting one finger here, one finger here, uh, sort of one finger on the hand itself, and then putting your thumb on the back of the magazine. Uh, I don't know actually how, like, tournament legal that is. I don't know if you can actually put um, a finger on this uh, and it still be legal. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that would be okay. I don't see how that would, would be cheating. Um, it shows on the packaging kind of holding him like this, which that's completely useless. So you might as well just hold it like this. And that's that's a very solid way of holding him just like that. Um, so that's how I'm going to be holding him here. And the other hand is pretty much dedicated all towards spinning this. With my lights in the way, this could be kind of difficult to do. But I'll do sort of a, a demo here and uh, uh, hope at this angle. It's very hindering, but hope at this angle I can kind of demonstrate um, how to properly fire this guy. So, I, I like holding this just with these two fingers. Um, you don't really need to grab around it like that to get it to work. Um, and let's just, let's just start firing and hope we get something good going here. So, there you go. He can be really very laggy at some points, uh, but you do just need to, to play with it for a while. Get a feeling for how he works. Um, sometimes he just is fantastic with his rapid fire capabilities, like the best I've ever seen. Other times, uh, you're better off just pushing the trigger down here normally. But again, let's do another demo. Hopefully, it'll be a little better. Again, like I said, it's very kind of difficult at this angle because my lights are in the way, the camera is in the way, and uh, I don't really have any way of, of, of firing this guy normally. I'm so Sort of also standing as well. So again, let's do it again. Uh, hopefully it'll go a little better. And there you go. It's actually a really, really cool gimmick. You just sort of have to uh, play with it for a little while and uh, get it to work um, and also just just mess with it see what's comfortable for you. Uh, that's what just is comfortable for me. Uh, but all in all, he's a really cool beat -em on He's worth looking into. Um, I don't know 
if if this guy would be a good first beat him on, uh, because you also need a lot of other things to make him work. Uh, the dash stabilizer does add a lot to him, and because he's rapid fire, you do need a magazine, uh, so you might be spending a little more money for him. I, I would much rather recommend uh, like a power type or a control type as a first beat him on, uh, but. Uh, this guy's interesting if you just want to look into him. His gimmick is is a good one, and uh, it, it, like I said, it's worth checking out. So, that is about it, guys, and this is IXL and IX, signing off.